60. Hi guys. We'll give everyone a few minutes to figure it out because obviously it even took us a few minutes to figure it out. We got the ocean waves going in the background. So we're at the beach. We're gonna make drinks. We good? No. Okay. Okay, that's better. <laughs> All right, Mark's, All right, we got people checking in. You guys They're want to check in. in? Tell us where you're watching Ooh. from, where you're painting from. Where are you guys painting from? I know Nancy is from Manda. And she's here. <laughs> I know we had a couple of friends that were watching today. Can you see the comments? Yes. Okay. People are checking in quick. Okay. Got Karen Joe from Tucson. Tucson. Josie Dillon. Well done. Loran Roth Glover. Cool. Michelle Weintraub Corley. Uh, Holly yeah. says no sound. No sound. Better? Can you hear me? It might be just me. Can anybody hear me? Can anybody not hear me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, Nancy says she can hear you. Okay. Robin says that she can hear you. Awesome. I'll try to speak louder this time. <laughs> I'm soft spoken, so I don't yell often. <laughs> Lindsay says, Wow, girl, love those lashes. Thank you. My friend Tracy hooked me up today. So if you're interested in some lashes, let us know and we'll connect you to the right person. I'm not a makeup girly girl, but I love the lashes, they're pretty cool. <laughs> Jennifer Chen from Bridgewater just checked in. Hey, Jen. And Stacy Katz Freelander. Freelander. Hey, We've Hello. got Terry Lynn from Aberdeen. Alright. We got Angela from Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Bridgewater in the house. We love our we, we love our a, neighbors. We got a bunch of Bridgewater friends there. We got Sarah Sparrow from Kalamazoo, Michigan. Cool. We've got Robin Harvey Pruss from hey, Robin. Streamwood, Illinois. Welcome. Canada Thanks, back in the house with Chantel. Yay. Awesome. Are you we got Erin Lee from Edison. Cool. Likens, Pennsylvania Thanks. back in. That's Tara. Welcome back. They hear you. Yes, everybody's <laughs> saying they hear you. Okay, they hear cool. you good. All right, awesome. All right. We um, still got people checking in. We're up to 80. Okay. I'll just kind of go over me. If you don't know me already, I'm Jennifer Mimosas and Masterpieces. We're out of South Boundbrook, New Jersey. We are typically a traveling paint and sip company. We bring the painting party to you. But with what's going on, obviously we've had to cancel all of our events for March and April. Um, the sloth painting party, if you know about that, is moved to August. Um, if anyone's interested in that, let us know and we'll give you some more details. We will continue to put up free live events because we like to give back. <laughs> I'm all about paying it forward. And despite having losing two months worth of income with all of this, it was a tough thing. But you know what? We kind of roll with the punches and it was just better for us to give back. Our mental state was better than our pockets. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so. Um, and everybody's been super generous with donations and with um, tips. So we used what we had received already and we <coughs> shipped out birthday presents to all the kids around the United States and Canada that missed their birthday parties. Um, we did that earlier today. We did some birthday shout outs, which was so much fun. Keep sending your pictures, they're great. Thank you. So tonight we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna make some drinks. We're gonna paint a painting. You're gonna have fun, right? So first is, we're gonna make some cocktails. So I'm, I'm using my little cutting board, my little promo for when we get back into physical, being able to do things. This is one of our resin pours. It's on a cutting board, just do the edge of it. So this is super glittery, so pretty. So I'm going to cut out, we're gonna make a watermelon sangria tonight. So I'm cutting up an orange, probably half an orange. I'm halving the recipe since I don't need to drink an entire pitcher of watermelon sangria tonight. It might make the painting better, but you know. <laughs> so I'm just cutting an orange. I don't know if anybody got their supplies to do the same thing with me. 
If you did, let us know. Throwing that in here. And what are you guys drinking if you're not drinking sangria? And I did about a half a cup of strawberries. Cut those up already. And throw those in my glass. We need about two cups of ice. So again, this is like half the recipe. Jennifer's drinking wine. Jennifer Chen is drinking wine. Wine is always good. I'm gonna start with my wine. So it takes about 375 milliliters, maybe half of a small bottle of Moscato. A Moscato wine going in. And I use a syrup. It's watermelon syrup by Da Vinci. You only need about three ounces of this. In there. Helia's drinking bourbon and Coke. Bourbon. We just bought bourbon the other day for the first time in a long time, but I use it to make bourbon chicken. Oh, oh, we have a sophisticated crowd here. Awesome. Robin is drinking uh, dragon's milk, white bourbon, barrel-aged stout. Wow. Okay, Stacy is drinking blood orange margarita in Hillsboro. Hey. Melinda's cool. got wine time. <laughs> wine time's always good. And then in this glass is just three ounces of ginger ale to pour on top. Mix it up. And the more it sits, the more flavor you get. But that's it. This is our watermelon sangria cocktail. Those of you that may have visited a Italian restaurant or some may not think it's an Italian restaurant. <laughs> this is their recipe. Put a couple of drinks in there. Erin Lay is raspberry rattler. Ooh, what's that? Yeah, I never heard of that. That sounds awesome. I love raspberries. Still got people joining in. That's good. So there's our cocktail. Cheers. <laughs> Pavlin said, I'm drinking anything that's in front of me. <laughs> I think all of us are the way things are going right now. And Christy okay. Schleppi is uh, just Pepsi here. Don't that's drink. Okay. Just like me. That's okay. Don't you know, drink. Mark's not a drinker. It's all good. <laughs> Jennifer um, is doing uh, Luna de Luna, you know, Pinot. Luna de Luna, that's a good one. It's a good Pinot. Awesome. We'll give everybody a minute to... Erin says it's like a raspberry me. beer. It's oh. amazing. I don't know about beer. I'm not a beer person. I'm a wine person, not beer. But I'm willing to try. Was... Yeah, Tara said, use your mommy voice. <laughs> All right, thank you, Tara. <laughs> it's hard and so soft-spoken that I don't do well shouting, at least not for long. All right, I'm gonna get our supplies together. For you guys at home, you should have a, a canvas. It doesn't have to be this size. I'm using a 16 by 20, which is usually your studio standard. You can scale it down, it can be smaller, that's fine. Um, I have it on my easel. Again, you don't need an easel. It's just helpful sometimes to be upright with it. I've got two brushes, our larger flat brush, which is that wide brush, and then a smaller brush for details, small round brush. We've got my cup of water. Be sure not to put your drinking cup and your mix and your mixing cup or your rinsing cup together. You don't want to dunk your wine, your, your brush in your wine glass. And then our paint palette, which I made a mess of, I just have four colors on there. I have white, brown, blue, and yellow. That's pretty much all we'll need for today, unless you're making some colors for your flip-flops. And then I like to have a clean plate for mixing when we mix colors sometimes. Can you say the colors again? Yep. Yeah. Colors again are just white, brown, yellow, and blue. If you wanna make different color flip-flops for if we do flip-flops, this then you can choose different colors too for your flip-flops otherwise all we need are these three colors four colors I can't count even right four colors all right uh, paper towel I didn't get that that's right behind you on the bar got you yeah paper towel to dry your brushes um, cup for rinsing that's it 
and we'll get started. Thank you, love. You're welcome. All right. That coveted paper towel that you could barely find in the store from the mall, right? Yep. Gosh. Okay. So we're going to start from the top corner and work our way down. So I'm starting with the large flat brush. You're just going to rinse and dry. And I'm going to move this over here. And be very careful. All right. So we're rinsing and drying this brush. The wetter your brush is, the more your paint will run. So you don't want your brush to be too wet or your paint will run down your canvas. But if the paint feels too dry on your canvas, you can always add a little bit of water and it will help fill in those little gaps in there. All right, so we're gonna start with our water area first. So what I wanna do is mix a scoop of blue, I'm gonna do it right on here, and a scoop of yellow, which is already pretty much mixed, and we're gonna mix that. So it's gonna turn into like an aqua green color, an aqua blue color. Don't worry if it's too dark right now. I want to go a little bit bluer, so I'm just going to add a little bit more blue to that. And what are you mixing again? We're just mixing like an aqua blue or dark aqua color. Blue and yellow. Okay. Very good. So with this brush, we're going to kind of make some marks on our canvas for where our water starts and ends and our sand would start and end. So I'm going to start with up in this corner is going to be where it starts. And then on this side, I want to come up about two or three inches and kind of put another mark there. And then it doesn't have to be a straight line across. This is kind of a wavy line. This is going to be your ocean. Okay. So using the rest of the paint on the brush, we're just going to put in some wavy lines in your ocean area. We're just kind of using the paint that's on the brush, that's all. Yeah, take your time. Let them get a good look at it. Yeah. No rhyme or reason. Your you mix brush blue, doesn't go anywhere. You mix blue and yellow, correct? Blue and yellow, yep. So you're getting that almost a green color I added probably a little bit more blue than yellow. To get that dark green color? Yep. Okay, and then we're just gonna, with the same brush, I'm not rinsing and drying yet. I'm gonna go right to blue. Just a scoop of blue on my brush. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna kind of put a couple of strokes of blue in between those. And then we're going to rinse and dry this brush. So after you put the blue in, then you rinse and dry the brush. But you're going to put the blue in the areas where you didn't put the green. Right. After your aqua green colors are in here, after your line is defined in the sand, line in the sand, so to speak, then we're going to have green brush strokes. And then the same brush, we're not rinsing and drying. You're going to just grab a little bit of blue and add blue strokes in between those. Doesn't matter where it is, your oceans are all gonna look different. Okay, and then I rinsed and dried my brush good after that blue. Okay, so the green, once we have the green on, you're doing your blue strokes, and then rinse and dry your brush. I have a question from a, from a viewer. Yep. They're saying, Melanie says, are we doing a flip-flop one, two? Either or. You and we all choose. paint this, you do either or. You'll do either or. I'll explain both. You'll explain how to put the footprints on there, and yep. you'll explain how to do the flip-flops. Yep. And you can choose to do whatever you like. Exactly. We'll give you a couple of different tips. Okay. Okay. So once we have that brush clean and dry, we're going to just go to white. Big brush, right in the white. We're almost filling in the areas, okay? Oh, I not grab that. Okay, so I'm just almost painting right over in wavy strokes. It's 
you just keep going back into your weight. You're in just, the areas where you didn't I'm actually going right over my colors so if I painted that blue there I'm just doing wave strokes right over it so oh. we're blending right on the canvas so I just keep dipping back into my white and your colors will blend right on your canvas all right and you slow down right there so that they can catch it yep okay so I'm going into my white I'm just painting right over I'm using wavy lines and it's blending my green and blue right on the canvas. Oh, nice. Okay. Same thing, you're just going in with your white. Nothing else, I'm not rinsing and drying in between. I'm just wavy lines. You can flip your brush every now and then if you want. Just grab more white. Wavy lines on your canvas. Suzanne says, which brush? The thick brush, isn't that yes. correct? This is all with the big brush we're using. We're not going to use that little brush until we get to your flip-flops. Okay, so the little brush is insignificant until it's flip-flop <laughs> time. Yep. As you go, if you want to grab the tops and the sides of your canvas yes. to kind of make it finish, I'll kind of brush that on quick, sorry. That's good. Okay. So again, we're just using that flat brush, <clears throat> wide flat brush in the white and painting right over your colored stripes that you have in there. I see. Right over my blue, right over my green, just using white on that brush. So just keep dipping into your white, that's all. So you'll have a nice big thick coat of paint on this canvas here. It should be nice and thick. It'll be thick because you're going to keep dipping into your paint. Into the white? Yep, and that's fine. And this way you can move your paint however you want to on your canvas. So if you want to create your waves in a different pattern, you can move your waves in a different pattern at this point. Okay. I'm just following the curved lines of my ocean. Let them get a good look at it so far. that entire area in until you're all blended in there. If you feel like your ocean needs more blue, go back in with your paintbrush with blue and you can add some more blue in there. If you think it needs some more yellow, grab a little touch of yellow and brush some yellow in there. Depends on which beach you visit, right? All the oceans are all different. I'm not a beach person so I haven't been to many. I can tell you that. <laughs> and when you're done with that you're gonna rinse and dry your brush. And take a sip. When they're done making the water. <laughs> when you're done filling in your ocean area. Yep. We're going to rinse and dry that brush. Okay, so now you're at the rinse and dry part. You're finished. Now you're going to take a sip. Taking a sip. <laughs> sip. Hey, aren't you supposed to say cheers or something? And, cheer. Like this you know, time. Toast. Toast. Cheers. I said cheers at the beginning. Oh, what I mean every time you drink. I thought Arch. that's what they did every time you drink something. That's in the Chardonnay Go game, I think. Oh, okay. No, it says sip or cheers. I don't remember. Stacy might be able to correct me on that. <laughs> what do I know? I'm not a drinker. I don't know. <laughs> but we made them play Chardonnay Go. Even yeah, the guys, we played it. It was great. I was good. <laughs> All right, so if you're catching up, we did, we mixed blue and yellow to make the green color. We added a couple of strokes in, the, in of the green. We went right back in with blue and added blue stripes in there, rinsed and dried our brush, and then went back in with our white and just painted over in the white to blend everything right on the canvas. You paint right over your blue and green stripes. Stacy says you're making her miss the Bahamas. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> I know, so many trips were canceled. I feel really bad for all of our our travel agents, Lindsay, Stacy, oh my gosh. I can't imagine. That has to be really difficult. We have a trip planned for an Airbnb in June. Fingers crossed, guys. <laughs> I hope we're done with this by then. Okay, we have uh, Sylvia Thomas says that she's not feeling well. 
So she's just watching because she's hoping sure. to paint when she's feeling better. Okay. And um, she's enjoying your energy. Aww. And definitely she can uh, she definitely can watch the video yep. after after this is over. We'll have it posted, and you can paint even then. We'll save it and post it right into the event. So if you clicked going on the event, you should be able to go back into any of your past events, and you'll be able to pull it up then. Okay. We definitely want you guys to send in your photos when we're done. Um, I'll do a photo montage at the end. I'll give it a day or so for everybody to catch up <laughs> and send them to me. And I have the kids one from earlier today, which my phone's been blowing up. It's just great though. So we'll put a photo montage together of you guys with your paintings. You'll see that they all will look different, but you will know that they're all the same painting. So that's the greatest part about this. Will they be able to hold their drinks while they show the picture of the painting? If they get somebody to take if, the picture? I would say if someone can take your picture, yeah. Someone should, you guys should be holding your drinks, even if it's Pepsi. That's right. <laughs> All right, so we're going to move on to the sand area. All right, so sand area. I'm going to use my other mixing plate for this. I'm going to use my clean, we're going back to that large flat brush. We're sticking with this guy for most of the time here. Okay, I'm going to take a scoop of my brown. My brown is really thick, so it depends on what kind of paint you got. So a scoop of my brown, a big scoop of yellow, big scoop of yellow, and then a scoop of white. Okay, and we're going to mix that in a small area. What's that going to make? This is going to be our sand color. It's going to be darker brown for now, but we'll show you how to add to it as we go. Because Candace wanted to know. Okay, this is our sand color. So a scoop of brown, a scoop of yellow, and a scoop of white. And can you show them the result when you finish? Yep. Oh, cool. Okay, again, it's gonna look dark for right now. That's okay. I want you to do one thing with it first, and then we're gonna add to it. We don't really even need probably that much, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, so once you have that scoop of brown, scoop of yellow, scoop of white, mix on your plate. We're going to take the brush and you're going to go right along your shoreline. You may pick up a little of that blue color, that's okay. So follow your shoreline all the way down. Doesn't have to be perfect. What does Aiden say? Aiden's teacher always says present, not perfect. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like that one. Okay, so Grab your edges as you go, if you remember. Okay. We're gonna rinse and dry. Did you do something with the yellow before you made the brown? Nope. Thank you, Candace it's, wanted to know. It's just right next to my blue, so it probably looks messy already. Okay. <laughs> Scoop of brown, scoop of yellow, scoop of white mixed right along our shoreline. That's where we're going to start. Then we're going to grab white and we're going to go over that, over almost all of it and start bringing it down a little bit into, we want to keep moving it down. So we're going to follow the curved lines. Follow Can you do them stroke slowly? Yep. So follow your curved lines of the shoreline. You're kind of going over and pulling some of that brown paint off with the brush while you have the white on it so you can move it down your canvas okay slow strokes please <laughs> so we're pulling some of those some of that brown off yeah i see how you're doing that and we're moving it down the canvas with the white <clears throat> okay so you're just going to keep going into your white as you go up and down doesn't matter we're just going to keep adding white can you explain that again to suzanne yep so you're taking you, the white in your so as you grab some white on your brush you're going to go over your brown color where we started and you're going to kind of pick up some of that brown on your brush and you're going to move it down and go further down on your canvas so if your brush is about an inch well, that might be an exaggeration but an inch in width you're starting with an inch there, 
Come down an inch underneath it and bring that down. Come down an inch more and bring it down. So as you come down your canvas, your sand will get lighter as it comes down to the corner. Okay. Okay, so you're just gonna keep grabbing your brown. Oh, sorry, keep grabbing your white. And I grabbed a little bit of yellow in there, sorry. But even though you grabbed a little yellow in there, that's, that's fine. That's okay, yeah, actually you could probably it could probably use a little yellow, so. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep grabbing the white. And if you wanna grab a little dab of yellow on that brush, I'm just putting a little corner of yellow in there. You can add a little yellow in there too. So over my brown, bring it down into the sand, to the corner of the painting. And I'm grabbing my edges as I go. Again, over the brown. And then we'll bring this lighter color down into our sand. The closer you get to the edge, then you can kind of even out your strokes. If you have smaller strokes, that's okay. yellow again it's okay so if you add some yellow in there it still looks good we're getting slow down requests again sorry the slow strokes please <laughs> take your time we're not we going need, anywhere sometimes you, it's nicer when you have big long strokes right just do them time. nice and slow so they can see your hand movement Again, I'm pulling the brown down into the canvas with the brush, moving it down the canvas, keep grabbing some white, move that color down into your canvas. So now if they didn't use enough brown in the, in, in, in the initial um, strokes that you put down to make the border then you want to bring it down they could put more brown up there and then just start all over again and bring down do the that. white and bring it down some more or if you need like if it's getting too light then just take a corner of your brush and dip back into that color brown that you used before right okay and then throw some of that on there okay and then go back into it with the white again and it'll you'll blend okay. it right on the canvas we're blending right on canvas Nice and slow, please. So we're just bringing that down with white. You can add a couple of touches of yellow in there if you want to. Mason is here. Hi, Mason. Yep, if I'm getting too light now, I'm just gonna grab a touch of that brown color that we mixed earlier. And I'll throw that on here. Well, that's a lot, but that's okay. But just let them see that. Let them see that if they, if you make something like that and they think it's a mistake, it's not a mistake because nope. you can always adjust it. We're gonna use our white and just blend it down. You talk a little bit louder. Sorry. And are, is this going all the way to the bottom? Someone yep. is asking. all the way to the bottom corner. So you're gonna keep adding white and blending all the way down. And if you need a little brown to, to darken it up a little bit, you could put a stroke of brown and yep. then just lighten it with the white. Yep. Okay. So I'm just gonna keep moving my brush back and forth. So speak up a little louder, please. You're going down lower. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm just moving my brown down with my yellow, with my white. It's okay if you get yellow in there. My white is messy, it's all right. So we're just blending the colors on the canvas. This is your sand color. Grab the bottom of your canvas if you can. Look 
looking at it from an angle. Yes. <laughs> So if you want to even out your strokes, take your brush and go all the way along the shoreline just like we did, and keep going all the way down. So it's the same pattern all the way down your canvas. You're able to do this because the paint is still wet on the canvas, so you can just keep going up and down with strokes yep, and evening to. out the tone of it. That's it. I'm gonna rinse and dry that guy when you're all done. We'll take a break for a minute. So now you're done? So we're done with the sand part. Does that mean you're gonna have another drink? We're gonna have another drink. Okay. <laughs> Send a mark. Sip, <laughs> so there's a couple of options that you can do for your sand area. You can do footprints in the sand. You can do flip flops in the sand. Or I can teach you how to make little footprints in the sand. So think about what you'd like to do. <laughs> so first, the footprints in the sand are literal footprints. If you have the ability to put a towel down and have a bucket of hot water or warm water for you to wash your feet off when you're done, we paint the bottom of our feet and stick them on the canvas. That's how we did that. <laughs> when would you do that? That would be the very last be thing you do? That would be the very last step. I'm just kind of letting you think it through decide, to decide what you'd like to do. Maybe after a few more drinks, then maybe they would do that? <laughs> I would love to see lots of footprints in the sand. And then I'll teach you how to do step-by-step, step how to do the flip-flops. And then the small ones, I'll show you that too. The small one is just using your hand, the side of your hand for small footprints. Really? You don't yeah. you don't use somebody else's feet that are smaller? You could, but that might be even more messy than doing your own feet. We'll let everybody catch up a minute. Get your sand in, give us some okay so we know that you're good. So apparently Tara says that um she's just Jacqueline's assistant right now, so Jacqueline is painting awesome. the paint for her. So Jacqueline could put her feet in the paint and she could put it on the that would be cool, but I don't know how mom feels about that. <laughs> as long as she doesn't do it on the floor. <laughs> so how does your drink? It's good. Okay. We'll probably finish the picture. Okay. So I only made half a batch. <laughs> how does it taste? Is it sweet? Or is watermelon it a... and sweet, yes. Okay. Sweet watermelon. It's like a Jolly Rancher. Yeah, Melinda says... uh. She votes for the footprints after the drinks. <laughs> Keep sipping, girl. <laughs> we did this with uh, a couple of girls here. It was so much fun. And we had, we did do this for a, um, for a school fundraiser yeah. in um, Bridgewater, I think. And we did not allow them to put their feet in the paint, although, because that would have been crazy. I think there was like... 70 kids for that one. That would have been just mayhem. But um, but they all came out so great. So great. What do, we, what do we think? We got a couple of okays to go. I don't want to move on too fast. I'm just uh, Lisa sit. says that sounds very tasty. The sangria. It is. It is. It's like a watermelon Jolly Rancher, remember? And I don't know, they just don't taste the same as adults. Uh, Elizabeth is saying, how do we tip? Is asking about tips already? When we, <laughs> when we're all done, thank you very much. We do appreciate them. Not expected, always appreciated. Um, we'll put up a Venmo and a PayPal 
or however you'd like to do that. We appreciate that. Thank you. Nikki is back with us. Hi, Nikki. We're going to do an event with her soon, right? Yes. So Nikki, um, psychic medium Nikki Stewart, and I are working on a paint and meditate event. Um, we were going to do this in person. We don't know how things are going to play out with how things are right now. So if you're interested in doing a paint and meditate like this, but we'd probably have to do it on a platform where we could see you. Um, we both would have to, be, it's probably like a Zoom or something like that. We would like to see you and you would have to be able to hear us um, for the event. It's kind of a calming, um, we'll kind of take you through a little bit of a meditation or Nikki will take you through some meditation and then I'll just help kind of guide you with your supplies and everything. But uh, the idea is to kind of get what's out there, what's in your mind, what's in your heart, what's in your soul onto a canvas. We don't know what that is. It's different for everybody. So it was kind of an exciting thing for us to partner with. I'm really excited. I've done um, several events with Nikki and she's amazing. You know, if, but, um, once y'all figure out all the logistics of it, then, uh, yeah, then you'll let everybody gonna... know where will they find this information. Right now, it is posted as an event on the Mimosas and Masterpieces page. We have a limit to how many people we can do in person at the event, if that goes through. So for now, if you click interested on that event, we'll update that event with details if we can do a live or a Zoom um, with you all to do it kind of virtually at this point. We just don't know what's what will happen at this point. Okay. So. But yes, so we're excited. And speaking of other upcoming events, so if you're enjoying painting, we have this one coming up on Thursday. Oops. This is our, um, for NASW, they did a, uh, they sponsored a painting with us last week or two weeks ago. I've lost track of days. What is NASW? NASW, sorry, is National Association of Social Workers, New Jersey chapter. Um, they sponsored a painting last week that we did live for you guys. It was free for everybody. They're doing this one. On Thursday the other ones that we're doing um, for family days are where's mine? so the next family night for kids is the pajama party so you'll dress in your PJs because most of us haven't been out of our PJs <laughs> for most of the last two weeks so you'll paint your pajama bottoms on canvas so you'll have your whole family's pajama bottoms on canvas in a couple of big canvases so order supplies, order supplies, order supplies. That's the toughest part um, to doing things like this because we know Amazon deliveries have been delayed. We know most of our craft stores are closed. A lot of them are still delivering, but you have to get your order in soon. So I would say 16 by 20 canvases for the adult ones and 12 by 12 canvases for family or, or kids. Um, you can always scale down or scale up depending on what you want. Don't they come in like packs of two or packs of four? They usually do. I buy packs of five, ten at a time, sometimes twenty at a time because I'm doing so many. But um, if we're going to be in here for the long haul, we will be doing this probably every week. And rascal agrees or disagrees. Um, so get your supplies. I've put a link up on my page a couple of times for Jerry's Art Arama. They are a wholesaler. They supply direct to me. Um, as a business and you can just buy online. I've put a, a link for like a shopping cart. So there's teacher's carts available. All you have to do is click on that link. It will take you to a shopping cart, take out what you don't want or add what you want and check out. It's not a very user-friendly site, heads up or warn, <laughs> but the pricing is great and they are still shipping. So just um, a way to get supplies. That's right, awesome. so you would recommend that to get more than one canvas if they I want to come say, back and do it because we're going to be doing more events. We'll be doing we this. haven't come up with what the themes are or anything like yeah. that, but we are going to be doing more. Yeah, well, definitely by the end of the weekend, by tomorrow, I will post another adult night. We'll, we're trying to think of like 80s theme, maybe, which I have a painting in mind. Yeah. Well, that. <laughs> have a whole 80s theme. I can't play the music, but you can on your end, right? Yes. So we'll do an 80s night um, theme party just to do something. Cause you know, we're stuck at this point. Um, but yeah, so keep watching, follow the, the page, 
you'll see all the upcoming events that we post. They're all going to be free. It's just keeping us busy too. <laughs> okay, so what are you going to do next? You're going to do uh, flip flops or, or feet? Well, first we're actually going to go back into our ocean and oh. we're going to do the waves in the ocean. So this kind of like crashing in the sand and the waves. Okay. So we're going to, we should have rinsed and dried this flat brush. I want you to kind of like tap it on your hands to sort of spread out the bristles a little bit. This is make sure it's dry and it sort of like puffs the bristles. We're gonna, um, it's called stippling when you dab your paint from the paint right to the canvas. So we're not brushing it, wiping it, you're stippling. So it's just that, 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 that. Tapping can you, can you show a, a you know, go up closer and show them okay, so what not, it looks like? So we're not brushing or wiping this time. So once your brush, our bristles, bristles, <laughs> our fluffs a little bit, it's stippling. So you're gonna go right onto the canvas like this, okay? So right in your white, a little bit of white at a time, wherever you want some, some waves, kind of like crests of waves, you're just gonna press the brush right to the canvas. No strokes. No wiping, no strokes. So we're just dot, 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 that's it. Dot, 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 dot. Okay, let them see. Does it matter where you put the dots? Wherever you want, wherever you feel like little waves or crests of waves are coming up. So, dot, 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 dot. Uh, Nadine says, can you use a sponge? You can, yeah. If you have a sponge handy, you can definitely use a sponge. That would be great. So this, so we're just gonna stipple a little wave in there. Again, it doesn't matter where they go. We're not wiping, we're stippling. So we're just kind of stabbing these, painting. <laughs> That's what it's called, it's called stippling? Stippling, yep. We're gonna do the same thing all across our shoreline here. So we're gonna blend almost these two colors, your ocean and your sand together with a wave kind of on the sand. You know that foam that washes up on the wave or on the sand? So we're doing the same thing. So I'm just going back and forth between green, black, or green, green, brown, green, brown, green, brown, or ocean sand, ocean sand, ocean sand. Happy little waves. Happy little waves. Happy little waves. And you can make this as thick or thin as you want it. So I'm just going back and forth. Ocean, sand, ocean, sand, ocean, sand. And let them get a look at it. And you can make this bigger. You can fluff this a little bit more. That's only white you're using, right? Just white, yep. Just white, and it, you can make it thick, you can make it thin. There's no mistakes, only happy accidents. And happy little waves. And happy little waves. I don't know if Bob Ross painted ocean scenes, did he? I know, lots of landscapes. I don't know about ocean. So we're just going back into the white every couple of taps. Tap, 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 tap. tap now you can take your time. You have a fast hand. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> you've been doing this for how many years? Not a lot of years, I know. I'm sorry. between the ocean and the waves or ocean and sand and it's okay you'll pick up some of the some of each color and that's okay it'll sort of look like it's foaming okay just tap 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 Tara said Bob did do some oceans see thank you Tara we have to watch him again. It's been a long time, but I grew up watching Bob Ross. I saved a lot of his. Uh, I saved a lot of his episodes on the DVR. Tap tap tap, right back and forth. Ocean sand, ocean sand, ocean sand, and then you can just go over it again. Make your phone a little bit thicker if you want. Back and forth. Tap tap.
would be a rascal. <laughs> I think he's dreaming. <laughs> he could be. And when you're done with your ways and your crests, you're just going to rinse and dry that brush. You gonna take another drink? Take another drink. I think Mark wants to get me drunk tonight. Uh, no, I just want people to drink. <laughs> this is supposed to be drinking and painting. We want to encourage people to drink cocktails their beverages. And canvas. Yes, cocktails and canvas. This is really good. You are mimosas and masterpieces, and we'll make mimosas next time. I have some cool recipes for some mimosas. Oh, Jennifer Casey just joined us. Hi, Jen. We miss you. Yep, we miss you. <laughs> Jen visited me, like, I think every day, every once, one day a week for, like, months at a time. And we haven't seen each other in, like, feels like two months now. So think about those, we're doing flip-flops, or you're doing footprints. You can add whatever you want. If you want to add little seashells somewhere on here, you can add little seashells. You can add, I think somebody added a crab the last time. That was really cute. But if you don't know how to make a seashell and how to make a crab, will you teach them? Sure. Jennifer says she misses all of us more than Aww. we know. We do miss everybody. It's hard being in sometimes, but I'm always on the go. So I keep saying this is the universe's way to tell me to slow down. You don't have a choice. Pretty so. much. Who's going to yeah. stop you? This stopped you. Now. <laughs> I wasn't going to stop you. I'm stopped. <laughs> so I had to do something else productive with time and life. And it turned out pretty good, huh? This is awesome. Yes. Meeting seeing, new friends and new people. Seeing your and photos. The best part of my events, when I do do live events, um, like in-person events, is getting a shot of everybody at the end with all of their canvases. And I kind of thought, oh, it's a bummer that I don't really get to do that with these because I don't get to see everything together. So that's why we came up with, we're going to do a photo montage. So all of, your all of your pictures of your paintings we'll put all together in the photo montage. And that is like the piece de resistance for me. I love seeing everybody's together. It's so neat. Um, Jen Smith Slagle says, my daughter asked for a turtle. A turtle? Can you do a turtle? Sure. You know how to do a turtle? Sure. Let's see. Let's take our green color that we mixed. We'll start with that. So we'll take our green color. We're just going to wing it here, okay? That we mixed for our water. Let's put him up here in the corner, okay? So let's give it a... You're right, Rascal? We're going to do kind of an oval for his shell or like an egg-shaped shell. Let's start with that. And then let's take a little bit of that green color and add a little white. Let's make it lighter. I guess turtle color or turtle. Turtles are like gray color, aren't they? Um, sorry. So we're going to make a lighter version of that color. So we just mix a little bit of that dark green color and a little white to make this lighter green color. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we'll add some spots in his shell. If you want to do details and add all the little crevices, you certainly can. So I'm just kind of giving him a little, some spots on his shell. Okay, now, um, Erin Lay, mm -hmm. 
says, uh, need a surfboard, please. Wouldn't surfboard. a surfboard be too big? Surfboard, you might be able to get, like, a, um... I mean, unless you make a little surfboard, but if you're going to put flip-flops or feet, a surfboard yeah. would be too big for the sand. But maybe you can paint it out here in the ocean, like a corner of it, or a piece of it out in the ocean. But will it be proportional to the feet or the flip-flops? necessarily be... I mean, they could paint whatever they want, right? But it's, uh, you know, a surfboard would be sort of... Of course. A surfboard would be cool. Maybe we should do that as a separate painting, like a surfboard on something in the beach. Oh, uh, Jacqueline just said uh, she still remembers when you came to Likens for her eighth birthday party. And we painted trolls. Poppy from the movie Trolls. That's right. That was fun. So she's doing the painting, you know. She's doing the painting. Tara's probably doing the baking. She is. I know. She was. She made like a Kahlua cheesecake earlier. Hi. Yeah. Oh my God. We're way too far away. Mm mm mm. So I'm gonna make the turtle's arms and his head. I'm gonna use a little bit of brown and white just to make a lighter brown color. Okay. Or you can use that color that we made for the sand. Yes. You can use this too. Okay. Let's see. So let's give him a little circle for his head right up there. Cool. Okay. And we'll give him a little tail back here, a little tiny triangle for his tail. Now we have to give him some legs and some feet, right? So let's see, how do I do it and not mess it up? So maybe we should do, let's let's say, we'll use the shape of an A, the top of an A, kind of a the top of a triangle maybe. We'll use that for each of his legs. Okay, so it's like up and down like a triangle? Yep, so the top of a triangle we'll use for each of his legs. This is for Jen does Slagle. Look like, does it look like a turtle? <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> I hope that made her daughter happy. <laughs> All right. Okay, now everybody's probably ready for flip flops. Flip flops. And yes. then you're going to show them how to do well, they're going to have to step their feet into the paint if they want to put their footprints so, yeah, on it. I'm going to do for now, we'll do flip-flops so you can see what the flip-flops are. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to just use this green color that we made for our ocean. I'm going to add just a little bit of white to it. So I'm using my small brush now because we're going to do detail. Mm. That again, is Rascal. <laughs> Rascal, are you all right? so noisy. I don't know. Uh, I think he's getting yeah. tired of you painting. I have not paid attention to him today. Yeah, no, you paid we attention to him, walk. but yeah, but uh, Rascal is very possessive with you. <laughs> and you've been painting for about <laughs> an hour now, so he's getting a little restless. All right, so our flip flops. So for our flip flops, we're gonna start with. So I'm gonna paint the tops. This is where the tops of the flip flops are gonna be. So this we're gonna do an oval. This is the top of my left flip flop. And this is the top of the right flip flop. So you kind of want them to be the same size. Okay. <laughs> so funny. Christine Schleffi says, uh, the sound went out for a little bit. So did the footprints already with my seven-year-old. Uh, Hubby took pictures of him helping with that. Thank you. I can't wait to see. What color is that, Pamela says? This color is that aqua blue color that we used, the, the green. And I just added white to it. So I just took a little bit of white and added it into that color for that aqua blue color. And then you made two ovals. So, yep, yeah, and I'm just doing two ovals. These are the tops of our flip-flops. And then right below each, we're gonna maybe come down an inch from the bottom of the oval. And we're gonna do a circle here. Okay. Yeah, some people are saying that the picture is freezing. All they have to do is refresh, right? Hopefully refresh, yeah. 
But some people are switching to their phones. Oh no. Sorry guys. Maybe it's because I was they no, thought it I was I don't think it's anything on our side. Maybe maybe they thought it was frozen. I just told them to try refresh. Okay, so we have our two ovals for the tops of the flip flops. And then you're gonna come down about an inch from the bottom of the oval and give me a circle, a smaller circle. Let's do the same thing on this side. Come down about an inch and give me a circle. That doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Um, let people know that, because um, uh, somebody's saying it's Facebook, not you. Oh, thank you. And um, um, just let them know that if they can't continue, that they could uh, look at the video afterwards and they can, can finish their painting if they get frozen out. Yes, if you're stuck, for sure, if you ever get stuck. Hopefully a refresh works that you can get back into it. If not, we'll post the video. It'll be saved and posted, but hopefully you can get back into it. What color is used to make the flip-flops? I'm using that that green color that we used on the ocean that we mixed, the blue and yellow. And I just took a little bit of my white and put white and I mixed white in it. That's what I used for that. Okay, yeah, Christine said I had to back out and come back in. Yeah, sorry. It's fine now. Good. Okay, so we have our two ovals for the tops of our flip-flops. And then I came down about one inch from the bottom of each oval and did a circle, a smaller circle underneath it. Yeah, give them a chance. It's good to see that, that they can mm -hmm. see it. Yeah, you're going fine now. And then we're going to connect these two with a curved line. So I'm going to start on the left side of my oval and bring it down to the left side of my circle using a curved line. A so curved line? So it's slightly curved in. Oh. Okay, now, um, some people are saying they're using different colors. It's That's fine, okay. right? Yep, yep. They want red flip-flops, they can That's have red flip-flops. Yep. They want purple flip-flops, they can have purple. Absolutely. So this is the basic shape of your flip-flop. We'll do the same on this side. So start on the left side of the flip-flop, uh, on the left side of the oval, and we're gonna bring it down to the left side of the circle using a curved line in toward that open space there. And on the right side, we'll do the same thing that way. See right now, they look like glasses. I know, it's okay. You want a drink? <laughs> Trying to say I've been drinking too much and it doesn't look like a football. No, what have I ever <laughs> have I ever said that? It's okay. I'm only kidding. I let you drink as much as you want. I don't say nothing. <laughs> it's, it's not for me to let you do it or not. You do what the hell you want. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna start filling these guys in. So fill in, fill in, fill in. And you can create the shape a little bit better once you see it filled in. Okay. So if it looks like this may be too small, then I can go back around and make it a little bit wider at the bottom. So they can adjust it as they go along yep. if there's anything so that they don't can, see that's right. Right, so then you can adjust as you go. Okay. Cool. Oh, I see it, okay. <laughs> I'm always amazed at watching you do this because I, I see how everything develops. All right, so again, we're going to start filling this guy in. Fill in. And if it looks like we need to make this a little bit bigger down here, we're going to just go around and make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So that it looks a little more proportionate, that's all. And I'm painting on an angle, though. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so it may look a little different to me on my end. It does. Definitely does. So we're going to fill those guys in.
Okay. I'm gonna do for those of you that would like the little footprints I'll show you how to do that is it complicated nope not really it's just that I have to um, I need a wet paper towel a wet paper towel yep, to fix okay so footprints yeah I need a wet paper towel um, or actually I'll just paper I'll just towels go to right the bathroom. behind you it's okay I'll just run to the bathroom okay so our footprints the little footprints that you see, which are these guys. Okay. Stay. All right. So these are made using your hand. So up here is like the top of your foot. This is the bottom of your foot or the side of your foot. Okay. So you're just going to paint on your hand. <laughs> And then you're going to stamp it to the canvas. So I have to kind of stand in front. Sorry. <laughs> I have to tilt in order to get it right. Sorry. I'll change, I'll change it back. My paper towel is behind you. Oh. All right. So mine did not come out very well. But that is how it works. <laughs> so if you're painting the side of your canvas, you're kind of making a fist. You paint the side of your fist just this area <laughs> and then you'll stamp to the canvas except that I'm on an angle so it's not working very well okay okay and then for the toes I just kind of dip you just sort of dip your pinky or your fingertip in and you can do your toes that way okay okay but you, then you'll have to do this hand for the opposite foot that's the trick. <laughs> wow. So little footprints with the pinky as your fingerprint. Opposite side for the other foot. Nadine says, does it have does it need to dry first before you do that? No, it should be pretty dry. But no, if not, it's okay. It's just how you put your handprint yeah. on the painting. Yep. All right, there's your wet towel. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, and then for your regular footprint yes you're going to take your brown um, paint you're going to paint the bottom of your foot you're going to paint or you're going to step in paint nope you're going to paint the bottom of your foot so you'll paint the bottom of your foot and then it's best to put the canvas on the ground oh. and lightly step on it so you may need to put a lot of paints to get a darker pattern so you'll paint your heel, paint the top area of your foot. I mean, I tried to paint my arches, but it didn't come out. I guess I have high arches. And your toes, make sure you get your toes in there. Make sure you're stepping, not with a ton of pressure, but so that you can feel your toes hit the painting. Okay. Feel your heel hit the painting, the ball of your foot hit the painting, and then you'll lift very carefully. So, uh, so how did you paint your feet? You have to sit down and paint your feet. Uh, so don't you just tell people not to hurt themselves because yeah, don't uh, hurt yourself. <laughs> I don't think I could do that. You got to get like in a lotus position or something. I mean, you could. No, I just thought we just maybe sat on somebody, chairs. Maybe somebody paints your feet for you. You could. You could do that. Ladies can get their husbands to paint their feet or <laughs> and something. And then wash them for them. Mm. Yes. Because <laughs> I would have did that. I didn't know you were doing that kind of thing. We did. So that's how you'll do the footprints. Wash your feet good when you're done. Hopefully you can soak them in a bath. Okay, now Melinda says, um, I'm going to wait until tomorrow to finish and okay. add my kids' footprints. That's a great idea. Great idea. They probably will love that. Yeah, they, they will. <laughs> and for your kids, you can probably have them sit up on a table or on a chair, and then you can press the canvas to their foot instead of having them step on the canvas. I think they would like to step I'm on I'm sure the they canvas. would. <laughs> Be careful, they don't break it on you. All right, so we're gonna go back to the foot flops. Okay, so remember we made the lighter color blue, green color. I'm gonna go to the darker color green with that small brush. Yeah. And we're gonna outline our flip flops. I'll show you what the flip flops look like. Um, okay, yeah. But can you explain the toes again? 
Yes, so you'll, so on this guy, you'll. Sorry. That's okay. So on this guy, you'll make sure that you paint your heel, the ball of your foot, good portion of the ball of your foot, and the toes, and the bottoms of your toes, and make sure when you step on your canvas, you're feeling the whole canvas with your foot, so that you know that you're getting that on there. And if you have to go back in there, like if your toes didn't come out, then just use your, the, your fingerprint and add on there if it didn't work. This way you don't mess it up by trying to step on it a second time. Just so, go back in with your fingerprint. With so for the big toe, you use your thumb? Yeah, probably. If you didn't get it on there with your foot, use your thumb and you can do it that way for sure. Right. So she's talking about the toes and you just, um, um, Nicole is asking about the toes. She's talking about the toes on the small feet. Oh, on the small the feet. The small feet was your pinky. I just use my pinky for the, for all of them. It looks probably crooked on this side, honestly. but So the bigger one would go all the way to the left on this side, or all the way to the right on this side. See, I'm backwards. <laughs> all the way to the right on this side. So your fingerprint would honestly get smaller as you came out to the edge of your foot. Okay. All right. Now there's your flip-flops. So back to flip-flops. So we're going to go back to that dark green color that we started with. Same thing that we used for our ocean back here to start with. Uh -huh. We're going to outline the flip-flops. I don't know if I'm happy with the shape of those flip-flops, but that's all right. So just take that small brush and we're just going to outline them. These things honestly, they look like uh, flippers, huh? Finish the flip flops. Can you explain uh, yep. umbrella for Holly? Umbrella, yeah. Stephanie says Stephanie has. Uh, she says she has to go. She had a great time. Thank Good. you for You're it. You're welcome. Tell her if she wants to. Uh, she can look at the video later if she wants to finish anything else. Yeah. She didn't finish it. Make sure you throw your initials on there somewhere and send us photos. Please send us the photos. outlining our flip-flops with that darker color is that the same green that same dark green that we started with on the ocean so if you made a different um, a use, different color if you use a different color flip-flops you just want a darker color to outline in and how would you make it darker you can add a little bit of a darker color so if you don't have black you can do it in black or like if you did purple you can add a little more blue to it just a darker color. Just a slightly darker color. You just want to change the color a little bit. The dog is like right under my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah says, can you please explain how to do a crab? A crab. So you got a, you got a request for an umbrella a crab, and then umbrella a crab. A you this, did a turtle. This you baby's going to be a mess. <laughs> no, well, you're showing people how to do stuff so that they can have diff different variations. Um, uh, Christine says, could you please explain uh, where to send the photos? Did you get the ones you sent that she sent earlier with her son? Probably. There's so many to look through. Yeah, there's a lot. I will get back to every single person. There was over okay. 300 people at the at the kids the kids event earlier today. Yeah, I'll get back to everybody. It'll take us a little time, but I'll here we're up to a hundred people. So cool. yeah, it's it's a lot to look through, but we'll get through it yep, all. Yeah, we will. Um, you can send the photos either through Messenger. You can post them right to the page, or you can send them to the email, mimosasmasterpieces at yahoo.com. There's no and in there, just mimosasmasterpieces at yahoo. All right. So now for the, the straps on the sandals, I like to kind of like connect the dots. So I usually put one little dot on the left side, on almost where your oval ended on the left side and the right side. Okay. And then one dot almost at the center of the top of the oval. Okay, so it's one dot on the left side, almost at the bottom of that first oval one dot on the right side, almost at the bottom of that oval, and then up in the center of the top of that oval. 
So it's three dots. Three dots. One, two, three. Okay. And then we're going to connect the dots. So I'm just going to use a curved line to connect that dot to that dot. And then this dot to this dot. And you can just make that a little bit thicker if you want to. Um, just to let Nicole Nikki know yep. that um, the way to watch the kids one from earlier, if we missed it, you just go to the Mimosas and Masterpieces page and um, it should be on that page, right? Not the event? No, it's in the event only. Okay, so you have to click on the event right. and then that will bring up the video right. from earlier today and then you can paint the same way as if it was right. live. Yep. Okay. I hope that answered her question. <laughs> so yeah, anytime we go live from Facebook to do a painting thing, we'll always go from within the event instead of from on the page. This way it just keeps our group of people that were interested in the event on it. That's all. And it's easier to find later. <laughs> okay, we're going to do the same thing on this flip-flop. So again, a dot at the bottom of the left side of your oval, a dot at the bottom of the right side of your oval, and then a dot in the middle of the top of the oval, and then we're going to connect the dots with a curved line down on each, and you can thicken that up. You want to make it a little bit thicker. want to add patterns on your flip-flops like I did polka dots over there those are much better flip-flops than these are <laughs> I'm just gonna grab some white and add some polka dots on my flip-flops that's all so it's just white on that small brush I'm just adding some polka dots on there and then I gotta go get some red paint to make a crab for somebody and an umbrella Umbrella. We'll have to see how we can make an um an umbrella. Um, proportionate. Right. It's just like the surfboard. Yeah. Or well, what I'm guessing is that they just want to make little umbrellas instead of having the uh, the flip flops or the or the footprints. Okay. So it makes it look like it's a bigger beach. Okay. Maybe. Okay. I guess that's what the surfboard is for too. So I guess you would make, try. you know, like you did the turtle, because that's <laughs> like a little tiny turtle compared to <laughs> the feet right there. So I guess you could have little surfboards. All right, we'll we'll go for it. We're gonna just make a mishmash. So people can have a right. So people can have whatever different designs of, and images they want to have on their painting. Right, see, like Ursula is saying, not a crab, a horseshoe crab. Oh, a horseshoe crab. I don't even know if I know what that looks like. Um, yeah, so that, that's same same here. A horseshoe crab. Is that the thing with, like, the long spike on it, like, tail thing? I think that's what that is. Yeah, I think so. I don't know if I can paint that, but we can... Uh, yeah, you, your, reference, your form of reference, where would you reference it from, <laughs> from memory? I, I don't remember ever seeing a horseshoe crab, um, so I couldn't tell you. I'm gonna say brown for a horseshoe crab. Let's say like a crab. Brown. I can I can visualize a crab in my mind. We'll put him in the water. Let's try that. We'll a horseshoe look. crab. Because I want to say I think it's like it's almost. I think it's almost like a like a horseshoe. And oh yeah, so it's horseshoe shape and then filled in, and then I think that it has like. A long, like a, I don't know, like okay, a spike. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Like a long tail, and I don't. <laughs> That's crazy that... that I don't really know what it is, but. And then is it? There's like little. Um, I don't know if it's feet or like phalanges. I don't know. I could be way off, guys. The best you can. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but. <laughs> All right, let's do um, let's do an umbrella for Holly. Let's see. 
No, I haven't been to Sandy Hook. Christine says, guess you haven't been to Sandy Hook. I haven't, no. I guess. I'm not a beach girl. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I go to <laughs> Jacob Reese Park in Brooklyn. I, I've never been to Sandy Hook in my life. That's the only beach I know is Jacob I mean, Reese Park. I've, I've been to Sandy Hook, I feel like, but not a beach, I guess. Sorry. Uh, okay, Tracy says it's a hard shell and a tail like a spike, like you said. Okay. I don't know if that's really what it looks like, but... And Nancy says it's round with a long tail. So, like you got it. Then it must be close. like you got it. That's close. From a distance. Take another sip. Uh, Tracy says, close. yes, that's it. <laughs> Tracy says, yes, that's it. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, take another sip. Take another sip. <laughs> it'll look better. <laughs> okay. Um, umbrella. Let's see. All right. So, we'll make a little umbrella, I guess. Yes, little so umbrellas. Gonna... Put little umbrellas on the beach. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll start. Let's see. Uh, what color should we start with? Um, let me start with yellow. This way, if it's totally messed up, it will blend into the sand. All right, I'm going to say it'll probably be kind of an upside down U, right? To yeah. Start with. Little beach umbrella. And then. We want to do maybe like M shapes under there or N shapes, whatever. N shapes. Okay. Like little humps. You're using yellow. I'm using yellow just in case I messed it up. That's all. all okay. Right. <laughs> all right. I'll go to my, that green color and we'll do green on one side, right? Cause it's like a, right. It's going to be multicolored. Different colors. I don't have a whole lot of colors on my plate. We'll do, maybe we'll do white for one of them. So it's that upside down, like a U shape, upside down U. Right. And then three smaller upside down U's. Okay. And then we'll just fill in three different colors to make it a little colorful. I'll grab blue for this one. Yeah, Ursula says, sorry about the curveball, but that was my son's request. Uh, it's okay. It's all right, yeah. And then Helia says, you are so awesome to paint on demand. Hey. But that's know? what we're here for. <laughs> we want we want you to be happy. We want you to have yeah. fun. It's and she really fun. is good at painting, so she'll do whatever. Cool. Umbrella in the sand. Okay. You probably would put that in like a little sand dune or whatever in there somehow. Yeah. All right, where's my surfboard curl? Let's go to surfboard in there. We got an umbrella in there. Let's get a surfboard on there. Let's yeah. See. <laughs> it's very monotonal since I don't have a whole lot of other colors on here. But that's okay. All right, let's do a let's do a blue surfboard. What's that? Gonna grab a little bit of blue with a little bit of white. I'm looking for who asked for the surfboard. That's okay. I can't quite remember the name either, but all right, I'm gonna paint over this foot thing. Oh, eh, that's all right. I won't paint over it. I'm just gonna paint it in the center, going into the water. How's that? So I know it's kind of flat on the bottom, right? And then it comes to a point at the top. Again, I'm not much of a surfer, obviously. And we'll fill that guy in. <laughs> yeah, I can't find a person who asks for the surfer. Okay, and then we can just add some, we'll add some stripes to it. Grizel said, this is Make how we fun. are spending my birthday. Aw, happy birthday. Grizel Pantry. Happy birthday. Sorry we couldn't do it in person, but thanks for joining us. And then we'll add, let's see, I'm going to grab a little bit of brown and we'll say it's kind of sitting in the sand. How's that? I don't know how much the surfboard that is. I'm not a surfboard. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> wow. Did I miss anybody? 
Not that I know of. I had to refresh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, the comments were locking up on me and it kept telling me to refresh, so I refreshed. It's okay. There we go. So the last thing that you'll do on your painting is add your initials somewhere on there. Yes, you made the surfboard for um, her son, oh. Erin Lay's son. Thank you. And Heart of Surfing. <laughs> okay, Heart of Surfing. I don't have red on here. on there then. Suzanne says, thank you, Jen. I love the painting. You're welcome, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Got a heart on that surfboard. How's that? All right. Now, last thing we need to do is add your initials on there. They're usually in bottom right, bottom left. Just take your small brush, a little tiny bit of paint on there, and add your initials. And I usually do the year. Uh, Sarah said, can you please make a crab? A regular crab. A regular crab. I gotta get red. Right behind you on the bar is that. I'll um, get you some red. Hold is on. Is that plate still there? If it's still there, then I can. I should be able to use that plate. Oh, uh, the plate for the red. No, is there a plate of paint right there? No. I don't see a plate of paint. Just kidding. Must throw Just it. give you a little red. Okay. That's good. That's cool. Here you are. Thank you. All right. Red is usually translucent. And add a little white to it. Uh, happy birthday to Jane. Happy birthday, Jane. Oh, the surfboard mm -hmm. was for kids with special needs. Aww. So if you guys want to um, get together and do a separate paint night for you guys, we can do this the same way. If we need to do like a fundraiser thing for you guys, we'll paint a surfboard on paint canvas whatever they want. for everybody. <laughs> and we can do some type of fundraiser for you guys that way. I normally would do fundraisers in person, of course, but we can't do it. We'll do it live. All right. A crab. Let's do a crab. All right. We're so doing a crab for Sarah Stevens. So with my red, doing a little circle there. Gotta get paint on Let her see the, how small this circle is. I don't know if anything is proportioned in this painting anymore, guys. No, that, that looks pretty good. So. <laughs> I think that would be the size of it. Okay, and then we're going to do... I forgot how many legs a crab has. Four? Well, I'm going to start with two little lines on there at the top. And we got to make his claws, right? Yes. So oh, that's right. That's little right. Little shapes on there. That's right. First. And then crabs are six legs or eight legs. I should know this, but I don't. Oh, yeah. You got the claws. Then, yeah, I think it's two more on each side. I'm not sure. I but six. So then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just use like a little almost an A shape. An A shape? Like a, a top of a... Um, triangle shape. Okay. But how did you do that? Okay, okay, you went up and down? So from the body, I just went up, up and then, and then brought down? it over. Yep. Okay. From the body, up a little bit and then brought it over. Up and then brought it over. Oh, there you go. Wow. <laughs> give him two little, okay. two little eyes on there. <laughs> you are so talented, I swear. Stop. All right. Am I missing anybody? Anybody else? I don't know. I don't think Special so. Requests. No, I think you got everybody. You got the horseshoe crab that you <laughs> just came from. <laughs> we're barely having a memory of it. Yeah. And then a you surfboard. Then you did a crab. Then you did an umbrella. You showed people how to make little feet with your hands. You showed how. You, then you told them that uh, all they have to do is paint their feet Can't wait to without hurting them. themselves and without and, hurting yourself. and then putting their Please, feet down on the yourself. canvas. Or get your kids to step in the paint because you know yes. they would love to do that and step on the canvas. And was the last thing you told them to do is to put their initials. Initials, usually in the bottom right or left corner with the year. And that's it. Then we're done for tonight, guys. And then they need to send us a picture of their paintings. Yes, and uh, hopefully they'll send us the pictures of their paintings with a drink in their hand. That would be good. Yes, tell us what you're drinking. 
<laughs> oh, oh, we got one more, baby. Okay, what you got? Give how you about mean. a starfish? A starfish. Jerry says, how about a starfish? starfish? All right, going back to my little brush. Little yellow, little white. See, everybody's ready to go to the beach, see? I know. <laughs> I hope we are not messing with people, you know, giving them anxiety because nobody can go out or anything like that. We certainly can't <laughs> go to the beach. I'm just getting green at this point. Let's see. All right, a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white. If I have any clean white, I don't know. I made a mess of this plate. That's okay. All right, so we'll put our starfish in here. Oh, Jen Smith sorry. Slagle says have a great night. You too. Thank you guys. It was a great relaxing time. That's what we do it for. Definitely. Because we Definitely. all under a lot of stress and pressure. It's been. The kids at home. I know you guys are probably, most of you are homeschooling too. These teachers deserve a ton of credit. Seriously, I especially our teachers. Say it enough. I honestly have always, I always appreciate my teachers. 100%, but um, we are, we have an IEP, he's in a separate class, so we deal with ASD, and we deal with OCD, and a plethora of other acronyms, <laughs> but um, I miss our teachers, I know he does too, because he needs the structure, but um, alright, so I'm going to go back over this with kind of like an orange color. Okay, we're making a starfish. Yep. So, Nikki says thank you. Um, her good. and her niece is painted. Oh, good. And uh, Kaylee from Canada oh, says good. that uh, we still have snow. So this is way better than looking at snow. Oh, oh my goodness. I would say usually the states were probably still, we would still usually be getting some kind of snow. We've, yeah. been, we've been lucky, knock on wood, in that respect. That we have now, wait a minute, Dal. You just did the starfish. Can you explain that again? Because I don't know if Jerry got that. <laughs> Sorry, Jerry. We're just okay. running our mouths here. <laughs> so I mixed a little bit of yellow with a little bit of white. No, a little yellow with a little red <laughs> on a small brush. I'll do another one. So from the center, I'm going to do one line. And then we'll do almost like a V shape. Okay. From it. So it looks like an arrow at this point. Okay, so you got three lines there. Yep. And then we'll do one on this side one on this side so you're doing that a shape again or the top of a v again oh cool so it's not complicated no. all okay, right do your star like you normally would do a star right down top yeah pamela hanlon murphy says uh thank you you're that was a lot of fun and a nice distraction good yeah that's so what we all need right distraction now distraction for a while yes so thank you guys so much for watching and painting with me and uh, sipping with me. And then they're supposed <laughs> to put their initials down at the bottom. Initials, bottom right, bottom left. Um, send us your paintings, your photos of you and your painting to either Mimosa's Masterpieces at Yahoo. Send it to, or the messenger on the Facebook page or put it right in the event. We'll grab them and we'll put the photo montage together at the end of and we'll try and wait till the end of the weekend at least. Yeah. And when we're going to do other events, they just have to come to the Mimosas and Masterpieces if page? If you're following the page, I do believe that as soon as I create an event, you get a notification. So as long as you're following, you'll see anything that we post. We'll create a new one. Um, by the end of the weekend, we'll create a new one um, for the adults at least. And I think we're going to do this one. I think we're going to do the 80s theme. So again, order supplies. So you have supplies. I've tried to supply my local friends <laughs> with supplies and even I am running out so um so yes order supplies and Christine but, uh, Schleppi says um they had fun today with good. both of us and she has a uh, two boys seven and sixteen the seven-year-old hates writing IEPs for both boys we get it. and we all miss their teachers we get it same, same we're same. very lucky our teachers uh talk yeah. to Aiden on uh yeah, on, and he uh, was on, he was like on a Google chat, I think they were doing. It was so cool. That was like, oh, such a breather this week when they did that. That was great. But I told them right off the bat, there, it was going to be not, it was not going to work for us too. I was, am working full time and then trying to homeschool and do this also. And it was just like hair pulling. 
Networking. Stacy Womack says, um, thank you so much. Ordering more supplies and can't wait for the next Yay. one. This is the peaceful night I've needed. Good. Us too. This is good for us. This is a great downtime and it feels so good to see your comments coming in and your pictures coming in later. Lisa Warren says, I had a great time. Thank you. I will You're see welcome. you at the next one. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Take a sip. <laughs> Last one. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, guys. All right. All right, we're done. All right, you're done? Yeah, you can click off. Okay, honey. We're good. Um, I forgot how to do it. <laughs> Up here, oh, finish. Oh, okay, finish.